Yes, and this is a great story. So I want to tell you, you know, one of the most well-known things happening at Pike Place Market, not the pigs, not the, you know, Whoa. not the, what else? Yeah. What else is famous? The flowers. We're talking right. the fishmongers. They are the most important and sometimes like the most yeah. lasting impression of the market. So we have a very special guest. Back we in have the day, we, Anders yeah, he's here. Hey, what's with going us. On? Thanks for being here. You're welcome. This is Your story is so cool because you were a worker and now you're basically an owner true i started i just told your whole story i started <laughs> that cardboard boxes in the back room <laughs> back in the hallway and i would hear the guys out there i started in july of 2000 and they'd just be out there rocking with a big crowd and yelling I remember being back there yeah, yeah. all intimidated because i knew i had to go out there and you know be in front of the crowd and like yeah. okay i gotta go out there it's go time now but when so, you did this i mean 2018 years ago did you go into it saying this is gonna be my thing no i i uh, no, I just needed a job for the summer. Oh, really? I had a friend, my friend Dan Buggy, actually, that owns Mats in the Market and Radiator now. Yeah. He was a fishmonger Staple. there, and he, he enrolled me in there. Every time I'd come over to his house, he'd show me this fish video and, <laughs> and try to get me. It was like, a, like a, enrolling in the military. But that's kind of fun because this is a part of the stories you don't hear, right? You hear Matt, you know, Matt was a fishmonger, now Matt's in the market. I didn't even realize that backstory. Yeah. You know, Anders is rocking down there 18 years later, now you're an owner. Yeah. Like, uh, some people might have missed this in the news. Tell people about what happened here. You guys sort of took over. Yeah, we just kind of worked hard and, and uh, learned from Johnny. He's just been the best the best to work for. And this is John Yokoyama. This is John Yokoyama, yeah. He's just, he's like a dad to us. He takes such good care of us and, and uh, he's just taught us so much important so much important stuff about business and life and how to treat people and because he had a big shift and like he used to be a tyrant and he had a big shift in who he was being and he's created this awesome culture yeah. Yeah. and then he you know I was fortunate enough to work my way up and he's trusting us with taking it over yeah. so what did he say did he say I'm retiring so you boys take care of yeah. this yeah. business for us yeah he's been <laughs> he's been kind of holding that one over us for a little bit he's like he wants to retire, you know, but then we have our meetings every two weeks or real kind of intensive meetings where we create goals and talk about the future and what we want to have happen. And, you know, and when when things are, you know, rolling downward a little bit or whatever, we don't hit our number. He's always, you guys, if you ever want to take this place over, you're going to have to you have to get do this right or that. Yeah. So he's been he's been training us kind of for this moment for a long time. And he, you know, he's just he's been there for he bought it in 65 and he's ready to be done. and. We've already been running it, so it's, I think he's just tired of us calling him at 7.30 every morning. <laughs> yeah. I, still, I still feel like I need to do that. Well, too. now we're probably distracting you from not throwing fish, but doing paperwork, right? Because mm -hmm. now yeah. that's the now unfortunate the part of being the owner. Just <laughs> buck stops with you, literally. Seriously. And then, yeah. I, luckily, John's wife is kind of training us up on a lot of that. You know, we already did a lot of it, but um, I'm hoping that as I get better at it, yeah. I get to go back out there and just kind of deal with the fish a little bit more. Anders, awesome. we're so excited for you. Yeah, thank you so and much. thank you for stopping by. Yeah, yeah. And I love your outfit. It's thank totally you. red. He's, yeah. It's your one pair of pants, right? It says it's seasonal. Shorts. It gets a new pair every year, wears them until it gets hot, cuts it off. It's a good system. <laughs> Cell phone, pocket, knife. It's, I'm set up. Styling, man. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And Thanks best of luck here. to you. Thanks, yeah. you guys.